Hi everyone. I hope it doesn't seem like I'm in the dark today, but I'm filming towards the window, so it uh, it's not really dark in here, but it might seem that way. And thank you for joining me. I'm glad to have you. You know, with all the crazy things that happen in everybody's day-to-day -day life, it's nice to take a few minutes just to enjoy your hobbies with your friends and that's what I'm doing and believe me I've had a crazy week <laughs> so I'm really glad to spend some time with you so we have lots to talk about um, let's see maybe we'll do a few new projects and old projects first so um, as you see here so we see it in there this is, I think they call them, I call it a road comb, but it's called a traffic comb. It's quite soft, and it's like the other one I did in the window. Um, so, this one here, this is the one that we cut this top off of. Jack will cut the top off, and I've drawn a little line right here because when it fits in this stand, it hangs a little bit low, so I want to um, make sure that it's hanging just even with the last ring. So when it's draining, it can drain on a little saucer that I put underneath. So um, this is under the new projects coming. So what will happen now is this, this piece will get cut off. This hard part will get cut off, but... I think Jack will leave this inner harder edge just to help it hold its shape. And then he will make some holes in it, like the holes in here. I love these big holes, and apparently that orchid does too. And that's another reason I'm doing another one of these, because um, the plastic helps hold the humidity. It's a little bit bigger, so that also helps hold the humidity because I have no trouble with any of my bigger pots, and I'm going to show you what I mean later. And the littlest pots are my hardest ones, and I really, because I can't wait the whole week to water them, they dry out a little faster than the bigger ones, and they seem to really like these, so I thought we're in for another decorator pot. And so... That'll get done and I'll show you that when that's done before I do the painting. Now this one, I sanded and I just painted with my cheap Walmart painter, dollar or two dollar little tubes. I painted it and then I verithamed it. And uh, so I want a matching one. And I have thought about using another dirty pour, which gives it kind of a... Uh, a very shiny ceramic looking finish before I paint and I haven't decided yet so I'm going to be thinking on that before I show you what else happens to that. So that's a new project and because my spikes are growing on my orchid um, I have to get ready to put some stakes in and these are the normal metal stakes that come if you buy an orchid and I've kept them over the years and uh, at the dollar store I paid 50 cents for a bag of clamps as you can see they're just um, I guess paper clamps or whatever and we like to use things that, um, you know, some might be thrown away, we can pick up cheap, and then we're not uh, spending a lot of money, <laughs> which we don't have. So, what did Jack do? He uh, took those stakes and he brazed them onto the end, as you can see, and then he put some black paint on them. and. One, it's on one and the other one still works, so you can squeeze it so it even fits a thick pot. And uh, then once, 
once you got it on the side of your pot, and I'll show you one that I've set up, then you can use, oh well, you know sometimes when you get, oh there it is, sometimes you get your orchids and they have these kind of little ties instead of butterfly clips, they're just a little piece of rubbery uh, kind of coated wire that they usually wrap the orchid to this wire and I kept them too. <laughs> <laughs> and so what you can do once you've got that clamped on your pot, you can just run a tie these two together because the heavy one will flop forward. Because so what you do is you get a wire or anything to tie these two so they stay up. Because then it won't fall. And I'll show you that as it's on the pot. So depending on the size of clamp, how big a wire you need to cover that space. So it's a cheap alternative, and I know you can buy them online, but this works. <laughs> Keeps Jack busy too. <laughs> okay, so anyway, oh, that's the receipt for that. So that's the other thing we got going. And I just want to show you the beaver. The beaver's got his first coat of paint. It's not, it, he, I'm starting out with a light color and then I have to go to Walmart and buy some more paint. But it's, you know, those little things for two bucks, so, or just under. So I'll show you. He is no longer green. <laughs> and he's got this light color underneath. So that's just the first part. It's kind of honey brown, I think they called it. I'll put them over here. So I've started him too, and it's so relaxing. That's what I like about hobbies, whether, you know, watering day, I turn my favorite music on, and that would be Van Morrison. I just love him, and he always has something to say when he's singing. And, I don't know why, so I put Van Morrison on and I can spend a couple hours watering and I enjoy my plants and get right into it. You know, it's like a holiday, probably better than a holiday because um, it's a mental, spiritual holiday for me. And uh, that's what makes gardening fun, especially the orchids in the house. And so there's that. Now. We're going to do a little tour after, but I want to explain something really weird. Okay, I don't know. Um, uh, we all know that I got at a garage sale the 1931-17 um, Schultz's, Schultz's X uh, fertilizer, and it was full. I got a garage sale. She said, take it free. Well... Uh, my daughter comes over on Sundays for dinner and she took the bottle home to try it on hers because she's just moved and we're going to see if some big spiking goes on. But that problem led to another problem because this is no longer available. Now, I wouldn't panic because as long as you have a bloom booster or that higher middle number, you're probably still as good. But uh, anyway... That just opened a can of worms. So I thought, you know what? That one's old, and I'm gonna see if I can find some. So I thought it was really smart, and I went online, and I found, if you remember, the 1827-18 2MGO, and it says Schultz's Premium Orchid Fertilizer. The 2MGO is for magnesium, and, uh, it was online, and so I thought, oh, down at the bottom was a little Canadian number, 1-800, uh, that I could phone and ask a question. So I phoned the 1-800 number. She says, oh, we, you know, you must be mistaken. We don't, we don't make that fertilizer here in Canada. It must have been made in the States. So she gave me the number for the States, and I phoned somebody named Bob at 574-772-6275. And uh, they make all the a lot of different fertilizers there, but they make Schultz fertilizer. He says, nobody else makes that fertilizer. <laughs> so I 
So he, he, he went online to try and find the one I bought and found it. And he says, this isn't ours. And he says, it says Schultz Fertilizer. I'm looking at where you bought it. And then he looks down and he says, this is coming from uh, uh, Lithuania. <laughs> so um, it's I paid for it. PayPal sent it through. And point, apparently it's coming, but it takes like maybe up to 30 days to get here. So if anybody else has ordered it, Herein lies the problem. He, he took all the information from the site because he said Schultz only makes their fertilizer in the States at that plant and in the plant in Canada. And he doesn't know what this fertilizer is. Um, they're using their name and their logo and everything else and calling it Schultz Fertilizer. <laughs> so they couldn't tell me anything about it. Canadian one couldn't tell me anything about it, but when it comes, it should be pretty exciting because the picture was Schultz, it called Schultz. So, you know, I guess that's just how things can happen online. So, um, huh. It's, it's, I said, so can you at least tell me what the 2MG, oh, he says, oh yeah, they've added 2% magnesium. So, I did find out that. But I wanted to ask lots of questions, but it's pretty hard to ask questions about either one fertilizer isn't made anymore or one that's coming from Lithuania. So anybody out there that lives in Lithuania, if you can find this in your stores, wow, that would be neat. There'd be more information to this ongoing saga. <laughs> so um, that was something I like to keep in touch with you, you know, like my next door neighbor, if she liked orchids, but she doesn't, but, you know, just to let you know what's going on, what's happening, so there's no big surprises, and if somebody's going to get all mixed up online, it probably will be me, but at least I did it through PayPal, so I have some reprieve. So, that's it on projects until the traffic cone is cut off and has holes in it. And I'll show you what I'm going to do next. And I'm going to take you for a little tour because some people have been asking about some pots. So I'll explain that to you. And uh, thanks for joining me. And th that's for the ones that have to leave and can't stay for the tour. But if you can stay for the tour, uh, it should be interesting. So thanks again for joining me. Okay, now, some people have been asking, did I drill my, all my pots, or are they bought? Well, this one was a very old porcelain pot that um, I picked up, and Jack did drill these holes. Uh, it's pottery, it's very old, and I painted the outside. And do you know, this is Moon Glow, and those flower stakes are really growing fast. Watering was yesterday, and uh, uh, I didn't use fertilizer yesterday. It was my day not to. Now this pot, this pot here, this was down at the thrift store, and it was it's pottery, and it was an old tea light container that all we had to do was put the hole in the bottom. So that's that one. And of course, this is the sewer pot. It was a black pipe with three outlets. And this is the one I did the dirty pour on. I love this finish. That's why I'm thinking of trying it on the road cone. And uh, that new leaf is coming nice. And lots of little flowers coming. So I can't complain about that. But the spikes, um, there's the second one coming back in there. I don't think I'll put stake these ones. I'm just going to let them kind of hang. Now, look how fast they're growing. Crumb, we're going to have orchids for Christmas. Yeah, so this is the one I call the Manet pot because Jack just took the regular sewer. He actually painted it with kind of a dark, dark brown paint, and then he put all the little uh, marigolds or, you know, it's a real Manet style pot. 
And uh, these I never buy new, but you buy these ones. And uh, they seem happy in them. They're just a normal orchid pot, and we got a little spike coming there. So, of course, this is the other traffic cone. And that pot ends about here. We put a screen in it. But, so, it's a big pot, but it's, it's probably the size of a paint can. So, um, that. Now, here, this one, this pot is an old lamp. That was the base of the lamp that we cut off. And here's the end where the light came out on, a, the, you know, the stand. And uh, Jack drilled these holes. And it's pottery, and it loves it. So this was repotted in October. This spike is growing so fast. So here is the clamp that we made. And I have a little wire holding these two together because this will flop down. But you need to have one separate just to squeeze it. So you could use a copper wire or anything to just hold them together. Now that is very firm. It's not going to go anywhere. And I'm not quite ready to clip it on there yet because I don't want it to break. And if you're new, it can happen. You can break them off. So eventually I'll very quietly head it up here and stake it on. And if you see... I put a butterfly on the end because looking in the window or reaching to do something, you might not see that stake, the point. And you could get poked in the eye. Um, I think that has been very close happening to one of our subscribers. So um, it can happen. I've done things like that in the garden. So it's good that these are just from the dollar store and you can just poke them onto the end so that you don't hurt yourself. So, um, of course, this is about this pot. I love this size pot. And this one is um, Lasting Sunset. So it's going to be kind of an orange. And it has a spike coming. But yes, they love these pots. And this one here was a garlic keeper. It came with a little dish that matched it. And it sat the other way around. Makes a, a beautiful orchid pot. And it seems happy. And, of course, this is another bought one, all at the thrift stores. Some of them comes with saucers, some of them don't. And then I left this little bit of a stake from the last um, flower to clip my little wire on so that I have a little name tag on it. So, uh, yeah, those are all doing good. So we're going to head into the other room. Oh, yeah, these ones, I forgot. And, of course, these were just picked up at the thrift store. And I just sold these little uh, core, coir, whatever they are, mats. And there is a spike coming down in there. Yep, down in there. So, they seem happy in there, too. Okay, let's go in the other room. Kind of had a sunny, windy, cloudy, everything day out there today. See, there's another butterfly protecting our eyes on the end of that. And I put that there and I'm, whoops, I'm still waiting to let me put him up for this the guy to open. I don't know. Ed, if you're listening, is there something wrong or is it still coming? Because I don't know that much about slipper orchids. I read a bit. Um, it seemed happy. This is the one I dropped on the floor when I received it in the mail. And it grew the new leaves over here. And it seems very happy. And uh, it's even spiked. And so, huh, we will see. We will see. Taking its time. This was a normal flower pot. We drilled holes in. Just in time for this zipper orchid. Got another new leaf coming in there. And let's see. Okay, the one in the back. It, um, see if I can get in there better. Oops, 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 oops. This is an upside down lampshade. It, we never had to put any holes in. It's how it came. Let's see if I can get down there. Yeah, there we go. So, I 
it's tricky in these windows. Okay, a bot pot, all thrift store, didn't have to put holes in those. And of course, this one, this is that dirty pour put over plastic, which I might do to that traffic cone. And this is, of course, my oldest orchid, and her spike is growing fast. It's funny, she started to grow a little basil, basil kaiki long, long time ago, and she decided she wasn't going to, and it came to a stop. So, so anyway, as you can see, this is just a plastic pot because I was short of pots, <laughs> trestles in it, and this happens. So, uh, all the Mr. Foggers are busy doing their things, and they all seem happy. So, that will be the end for our tour today. And I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for joining me.